Miss Monkey 1000 and today I have Shea Bear with me and what we're going to do is an unboxing from Go Stop. So we're going to do this unboxing and see what's in it and yeah there we go. Well we know what's in it. Yeah but I've never had one. Ever. Well, I've never had this one. No. The one I had, I made myself. That's right. You did. I can't open it. It's cut through, honey. Oh, oh puppies. No packing game. Yeah. Good throw them at you. It was the nastiest peanuts I've ever had in my life. Yep, so they put the peanuts in here to protect it. They also give you a nice little card here. Isn't that cute? I bought stuff from them before. Yeah, so if you guys are interested, might might be interested in that. There's the other side. Cute, huh? Good stuff. And if you have to call them, it's an actual person. Yes. Yeah. The real people. Ooh. Get a little case with no, it. No, it's not a case. It's a little case. It's not a case that has a function. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it's not a case. That is be. right. That is not a case. That's You're right. a case. And that's it. That's your shipping. No, no directions. No, you don't need directions. It's no. kind of like a ratchet. You don't get directions with a ratchet. You should know how to use that. Oh, well, what if you've never done this before? Then like you call me? Shea Bear 1000. There That's 1 800 Shea Bear 1000. Where'd you get that phone number? Offer void. We're prohibited by law. This is a nice little box I put it in. Cute. This is an FS Box Ghost Scanner. Ghost box. Yeah. Yeah. It's a ghost box. I've been wanting one of these for a while. Yeah, the one I did, I didn't make it. What you did was you bought this radio and you took it apart and you uh, you modified it. Well, now that particular radio that made it to where you can't do that anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. My niece Courtney. And uh, when I showed her how to do it, oh when, yeah. she came, when she came up to Ohio from uh, Florida, right? she said, show me how to do that. Because uh, she liked mine. And she said, I'm going to go get one of these. Okay, finally opened it up, figured it out. Okay, it gives you a cord for charging. There's two here. Well, this one's for charging, maybe? Gives you a little booklet. There's the booklet right here. Yeah. This is going to be fun. And there's some directions there. And it has a quick start guide on the back. So. And it gives you the item. Ooh. It's red and black upper T. Has a little handle. Cute. And oh, right there you go. There's an antenna. For this. So Shaver is gonna teach me how to use this thing. <clears throat> Does it take batteries? They're modified radios is what they are. So it's gonna take batteries, right? <laughs> well, it doesn't work off of water. I might need you to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just pulled the tap. Yeah, this is a rechargeable battery. What these are is <coughs> ghost boxes, for those of you that don't know. They're modified radios to scan uh, radio frequencies very, very quickly. And the theory is 
that if there's a spirit around you, they can communicate with you. They can take this, the white noise from the radio because you don't actually want radio stations to come in. So you can get white so they, they can uh, communicate through the white noise. Now, what's this one? It's it, not a pouch. No, it's not. It helps the interference mm -hmm. of other radios, right? No. No. I feel this like. is called a Faraday pouch. Right? Mm hmm I don't know if you guys have heard of that. It's kind of like, let's say, like this is um, like actually a real fine metal mesh, probably copper infused. Um, usually that's what you use. It could be aluminum infused. What it is, is if you put a radio inside a Faraday pouch or a Faraday cage, uh, I'm... I made one one time a Faraday cage. It was just a square thing. Uh -huh. Now, if you put this in here, or your phone, let's say your phone, a key fob, nothing. It's not going to work. It's not going to pick up radio waves. It's not going to send any radio waves. Right. So that way, if you pick anything up, um, in theory, it should be a spirit talking because it cannot pick up radio waves inside this Faraday pouch. Uh huh. So, like, you know the uh, walkie-talkies that we have? Uh -huh. You put one of them in there, it will not pick up, and it will not get out. Now, uh, uh, like I said, I, I made a Faraday cage once, but uh, it, they do work. You know, you put a cell phone in there, it will not pick up the service. Wow. That's uh, cool. Yeah, if you put your cell phone in there and I try to call you, uh -huh. it should not ring. So we should try that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Um, to see if this actually works. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. We can do that. Well, you my want. cell phone's right there. Alright, let me go get my phone. There's your cell phone. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what I'll do is call you first. See, well, I'm not going. I can't show the number, but um, turn my volume on so they can hear it. Yes, and they know that you're ringing me. I don't care if they see this number. That's funny. Dennis is right now sending me a message. Uh huh. Wait, it says January 24th. That's an Okay, answer. anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. And there he is. That you can hear. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What do you mean? You hung up? No, you hung up. Okay. I don't care if they see this number because this is mm -hmm. the number for... Okay, now, put that... In here? Yep. Now, that should not make a call. I mean, I should not be able to get through to her. shouldn't went through. No. Nope. Only has two bars on it though. Compared oh, yeah. to full ones, yeah. Did only show two bars. Hmm. So maybe it just leases it? Hmm. That's pretty cool. So, to turn it on, <clears throat> let's just 
smear film. Your door handle is shipped. Oh, okay. So it'll be Tuesday. It'll be your Tuesday, February 6th. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta get a new door handle, guys. Yeah. Door handle's not working right. So, we had to get a new one. Yeah, you can lock it and I can walk over and and it'll open. Yeah. Scary. So I ordered her a uh, lock set. That'll be a video. Mm hmm So you're gonna you have to take that little thing out and then it says you have to fully charge it before using it. Well, you should. Anything anything, mm -hmm. guys, anything. Not just this, anything. You should fully charge before using mm -hmm. it. slide button on the top. Look, what's that memory card slot for? That's different. I don't know. Xbox. Scanning. FM. Please press scan 13 to begin. FM scan forward. So you can tell radio stations. Uh huh. You can hear it picking up radio stations. Well, let's put it in here. No radio stations. So that power works for the radio. Yeah. Why's it got a memory card slot? I'll have to read up on that. That's pretty cool. Maybe it'll record. I love the feel of this thing. Yeah, yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know if got it all fingerprinted up, though. Rechargeable battery and long life. Change scan speed. Forward or reverse sweep direction. I like reverse mm -hmm. sweep. Yeah. Record and play back EVP audio. Amplified so that's speaker what, and headphone port. So that's what the um, memory card slots for to record it. Uh huh. That's pretty cool because, see, just a regular one. I mean, you had to be actually recording it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It has a built-in LED flashlight. That's, that's what they said. Oh, I see it right yeah, there. Right there. I button on there it. Is. Yeah, there it is. Got a little flashlight. That's cool. Connect device to use as a wireless speaker. Easy access to record audio. That's cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'll read up on it. I'm going to do a review on it too. So yeah, that way I can teach her more, a little bit more about it. Yeah. But apparently that worked for that, but it didn't work for your phone. No. <clears throat> so, can we talk to someone? I don't know why you're whispering to me. <laughs> She's going, she goes, can we talk to someone? I don't know if anybody's around or not. Well, I'll try it. You show me. Okay, I never pull the antenna out because I don't want to pick up radio stations. Um, now mine I used as a radio like when I went fishing and stuff mm -hmm. I just didn't make it scan mm -hmm. um, especially around here where we're at we can pick up Tampa yeah mm -hmm. so we're going to turn this on Xbox Xbox FM alright now sit scan Now let's put it in here. That's 
question. Your best question. It's like I'm the investigator or something. Yeah, you are. You know what you're doing. I know. I'm just a standby. Is there anyone, is there any spirits here with us that would like to communicate? I mean, you don't talk to that. You just talk to me. I lean forward so they can hear As you can hear, no radio stations are coming in since it's been finished. What was that? Static. <laughs> Nobody's here. Give it a minute. Feel to it. Yeah, it's cool. Let's scan it in reverse. Okay. Hear how I brought it out and mm -hmm. you got a battery gauge there. Ghost hunting. Yeah. 
I don't call myself a ghost hunter because I don't go hunt ghosts. I'm an investigator. Right. Um, but it's one of the most boring things you can do, quite frankly. <laughs> because nine times out of ten, you're sitting in a dark room talking to nothing. Right. Whether it be for the camera or for that thing or trying to pick up EVPs, you know. Uh-huh. So, yeah, it's pretty boring. And even more boring than that is going over footage or audio uh -huh. to see if you caught anything. Uh -huh. It's not glamorous like you see on TV. No. Mm -hmm. no. Most of them are made up. Like you see her do this for, you know, 45 minutes. Think about it. Mm -hmm. And nine times out of ten, this is what you want to get. Even in a known haunted location, nine times out of ten, this is what you want to get. Right? Yeah. So. But we're going to take it, we're going to go camping, and we're going to take it with us, right? Yeah. We're going to try it out there in the woods. Yeah, because it's supposed to be haunted out there. Yeah. So that's what we got it for. In uh, Fort Cooper. Yeah. Because we're going to Fort Cooper mm -hmm. Monday morning. Mm -hmm. Right? Because mm -hmm. we can tell them now, right? Yeah. yeah. We're going to Fort Cooper Monday morning. And then when we leave there, so we're going to kind of spend the day there. Mm -hmm. We leave there, we're going over to the river and we're going camping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try out a couple things. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. And we got some reviews to do. Yeah. And I just think this will be great up there. They work. They do work. I mean, for skeptics, they'll say it doesn't work. It does work. Mm -hmm. I mean, white noise. If you got a white noise generator, you know. I mean, if you just got an old radio, uh -huh. you know, set it on static. Mm -hmm. That's white noise. Make sure there's not going to be anything coming in. Mm -hmm. Like mine, you know, it was an AM, FM radio. I would put it on AM and scan it. You know, mm. for sure that new radio stations will come in. Right. But white noise will will also help you get through. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I've had situations where I didn't hear anything through white noise. I didn't hear anything at all. And when I got home and listened, playback, mm -hmm. listened to the recording the white noise and me asking questions, I was getting hits. Yeah. Yeah, but I couldn't hear it with my ears. Right. But, you know, so kind of like maybe the mic picked it up from the recorder. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it was actually an EVP and not coming through the white noise. Uh -huh. but, yeah, so they're pretty cool. You got a lot to learn. I think this will be fun. Yeah, yeah. she'll have fun with that, especially yeah. here in this house. Yeah. Because, yeah, there's always something strange happening around here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, definitely. Yep. And we'll do more of this when we go out there camping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll do. We'll use it at Fort Cooper. Yeah. We'll take it with us and that. And we'll have it fully charged and everything. Because all this property around here is... There, there's a lot of hot, hot stuff. And there's mm -hmm. a lot of people around here who don't even want to go in the woods out around here. Mm -mm. Yeah. So, there's a lot of buildings around here supposed to be haunted. Yeah. So. Yeah. But I don't know if it's actually the buildings or cells or the property that these buildings and houses are built on, you know? I don't know, but you know, we could take this over to the courthouse and see if we could hear Elvis. <laughs> if Elvis is haunting any, anywhere, it'd be Graceland. He's not well, going to haunt, he's he's haunt the courthouse where he, he made a movie. <laughs> he might have traveled. Depends wherever he's happy at. In a little town called Inverness, Florida. No, I don't think that's going to happen. Although there would people would be people saying, I'll bet he hunted because he made a movie here. First of all, yeah. the whole movie wasn't. No, made. just part of it. And second of all, no, he's not. He's going to hunt <laughs> Graceland. No. If he's hunting anywhere, it'd be Graceland. That'd be fun to try. It's like that guy spent all that money on his... Elvis's plane that he never even seen. Yeah, that poor guy. Oh, this was Elvis's plane. He never even seen it, let alone been in it. And uh -uh. he's, oh, you, you think it's haunted? Why would Elvis haunt a plane he never even been in? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just. And he paid a lot of money sick. for that. <laughs> you know, Elvis got sick for he could go to the plane, go, 
you know, I mean, the plane was built and that was pretty much it. Yeah, Harry thought. <laughs> you know, you get the Lisa Marie, mm -hmm. you know, he, that's one he flew in a lot. But, right. But that one that guy bought that sat out in the desert, it was just owned by Elvis. He, Elvis never even saw it. Right. <laughs> he never knew what it looked like. So, I could Elvis' his plane. Yeah, well, he never touched it. So, mm. you know. Right. <laughs> I'm not impressed. <laughs> no. I'm sure he's not now. Oh, no. Hey, guys. Sorry about that. Her battery ain't dead. If you guys noticed I was going like this. I was looking at her battery thing. Her yeah, battery I knew gauge it was where it Her was. batteries were never charged. This one's half dead. Mm -hmm. Or, if, you know, if you're an optimist, it's half full. There you go. Anyways, dead. guys, we're going to end this before my battery goes out again. Um, hopefully, you guys will stay tuned. We'll do more of this. Yay! Yeah, this is not really a review. It's her unboxing. Yeah. Basically, once she, I'm sure she'll do a f complete review once she gets to know it, and she'll show you guys all the buttons and stuff in case you want to get one. Mm -hmm. You'll know more about it because mm -hmm. a lot of times it's easier to watch a, a video mm -hmm. than to sit and read instructions mm -hmm. to some people, and right. you know. So she, I'm sure she'll do that, won't you? Yeah. So, anyways, I'm gonna end this and say I'm out. And she's got to do a mystery thing. Mystery. Yeah, to let people know what the mystery... Yes, I have to do that, yeah. ...giveaway was. Yes, I will. Okay. All right. And Shea Bear. Huh? Say goodbye. Yep. Bye. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> bye, guys. Mike says bye, y'all. <laughs> bye, guys.